Now we just finished a, another build and this one is super exciting. So what we have done is a build on a 2021 Toyota Supra and we've done a bunch of really cool touches on this. So the first thing that's right in your face is the bright orange, it's satin neon orange. It's really difficult to capture this on camera. Sometimes it looks a little bit red, sometimes it looks a little bit yellow, but I promise the car is fully orange and it's like a bright, in your face highlighter orange is the best way to describe it. And we even did a little accent piece on the interior with the door seal on the orange. And then we did full PPF, which stands for paint protection film on the front end of the car, just because it's gonna take a lot of damage from rock chips and debris with driving the car. So we have the whole front end protected as well. And then we did the carbon fiber wrap on the roof and on the side blades on top of that, just for a little bit more accenting with the car. And to finish things off, we've got the carbon fiber spoiler on the back. And yes, that's the only real piece of carbon fiber on the car, but it all matches and goes together. Now, in terms of stuff that's a little bit more on the performance side, the car does have a cold air intake and then it does have a downpipe. The downpipe does ha still have the cats in it. And yeah, again, this build just, it turned out amazing. And I've never seen a car get more attention than this one. So I can sit here and talk about the Supra all day, but let's actually take a look at the car right up close. So first off, like I said, with the whole front bumper, this is what's gonna take the most damage from debris and all that. So we've done full paint protection film underneath the wrap, and then we have the wrap over the paint protection film. So it has two layers of protection. So if a rock is going to go through and damage the paint, it's gotta do quite a bit of work to get through. It's gotta go through like, little brother and big brother, and then it can uh, fight with the paint. And then the rest of the car, we've got the full wrap. The hood was actually pretty difficult to wrap just because of how large the hood actually is. And it comes down to this little body line right here. So this is one full piece of vinyl. And again, really difficult to do just because of the size of it. And then another little touch right here is with the wheels. So we've got the gloss black that was from the factory, but we did matte black to accent the gloss black. It's like a chrome delete on the wheels themselves. So again, just to make the car look a little bit sportier. And then coming to the side here, We've got the roof again, where we did the carbon fiber wrap. Now it just looks kind of like gloss black from a distance. And then once you get up close, you can actually see the weave with it. Most people mistake this for real carbon fiber, which is pretty neat. And so again, I didn't have to spend the money to do a carbon fiber roof, but I still get the aesthetic appeal of it. And then we did the same carbon fiber here on the side blade with the car as well. And then you notice next to it, we've got the door handle that we just left exposed with the gloss black. And it really doesn't go bad with the carbon fiber. You kind of look at it and it all just works together. And then coming here to the rear, we've got the full carbon fiber spoiler here with the rear. And again, this is actually real carbon fiber. It's like the only real piece of carbon fiber on the car other than in the interior. And then just down below it, we've got the taillights which have been tinted. And just from like an aesthetic standpoint, it goes really well with the car because you've got the really dark carbon fiber here. You've got the dark back window and then the taillights and then the diffuser down here. So it's all kind of one element where it's all dark together versus having just this mass of red in the sea of orange that is the rear. And then obviously coming to the inside of the car, it's really cool what we did with the touch on the door sill. So right here, we just added the orange so every time we open up the car, we have like a little taste of the orange that's on the outside of the car. And with the rest of the interior, we didn't really do much to it. So that's why it's not really a talking point. It's just all stock from the factory. But again, really fun build. And just as like an attention grabber, this car just gets a massive amount. Like everyone looks at it. And I don't know if you guys heard that over the microphone, but like as we were filming this video, someone's walking by giving us thumbs up and yelling at us. <laughs> 